Um, what did they, US presidents, do to get around before Air Force One? Well, they didn't travel very much. They certainly didn't do very much overseas. The Australian system. Our Prime Minister is simply the first among equals. In the US system, it is an imperial presidency. Everything revolves around the... Inside this, uh, does it have... You know, do you have all the spooks down the back and sort of all the gadgetry to launch nuclear missiles? And is it um, uh, an electromagnetic attack, for example, while it's in the air? So it is. The, it is the float. It is the flying White House. Same way the Cadillac that he goes around in um, has its own oxygen supply system. It's a soundproof bubble in which he can drive around mm. or fly around. Mm, wow, gosh. <laughs> it's a great bet, privilege to be travelling bet, in that sort of style. I bet the chairs are really comfy too as well. Um, <laughs> where did the name Air Force One come from? Tom? Well, in the uh, 1950s, there was a, an incident involving the American press, such as John Howard, on board planes. Mm. Oh, it always looks so mysterious and things like that, isn't mm. it? Keith, thank you for that. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Thanks, now, yeah. On board Air Force One screens tonight at 7.30 on 7, so you get to have a look inside and see what it's really like. Exactly. Ahead on the morning show this morning, the celebrity diets that work and those that don't. We're back with more of Sunrise.